Ladies and gentlemen, this is Devin Townsend playing for you. <laughs> so I'm going to, because I've never tried these amps before, right. I'm going to ask you questions, okay? Ask me. And we'll see if we can stump you. All right. All right. So we're going to start on a clean channel. All right. This is all MIDI savable, correct? This is all MIDI savable, but the master. So if I want to level the 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 channel volumes between the two, yeah. this is the this volume. Is this is the volume you should use. And that is um, savable. This is savable, right. Okay. Yeah. The noise gate. Yeah. This obviously means it's engaged and that's not engaged. Right. The noise gate is in the back. It's in the back, yeah. You can you can dial it from, from hard to soft, actually. Okay. So One knob, right? One knob, yeah. S similar to like the decimator kind of idea. Then. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Sure. And then uh, you can you can save per each present if you want to have the noise gate on or okay. off. How many presets can you save? Uh, 128 by each library. If you have like the iPad app, you mm -hmm. can even save like more libraries. <laughs> Actually, random. Cool. I mean, this is just, yeah. I like the idea of just having it randomly, whatever goes on my foot pedal, so you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> so this here, there's two effects loops, right? Uh, yeah, no, this is, this is just, yeah, this is the FX axis. Right. This means like you have like two, um, uh, two things you can do. Like this works for treble, or if you put this on the FX, uh, FX axis, it works for delay level. And this is like if you put this knob on, this is what you get from it, delay Understood. level, feedback, delay, modulation type, intensity. If you turn it off, it's like treble, mid, bass, volume, gain. Okay, so how do you select the effects? You select the effects by uh, just, just like... Okay, so there's letters in, there. Yeah, like chorus, so like chorus flanger, flanger, phaser, and trim. Tremolo, okay. And here's the intensity. Okay. If you use the app, you can just select it by switching and you got like numbers which you can dial in from intensity wise. So if you use the app, you have even more detailed access to the app. For the sake of our demonstration today, we've got delay, modulation, reverb. All right. Okay. So basically what I've got is a really basic clean sound with a, all right. So now it looks like we've got the chorus. This is the intensity of it. Yeah. Got it. So if I wanted to put it on trim. Yeah. And yeah. to, to slow down the speed of it is it's it just yeah just go back yeah oh it's nice so it's like a bias of bias trim that one yeah. is it all right and then so is the is the reverb fixed the reverb is fixed okay yeah. dry level delay time this off and now these act as basic yeah, control could, functions yeah, right. all right yeah. so i'm going to give a bit more volume yeah. so say we had saved this yeah. as just also make sure you use the presence and resonance oh though. okay because this is very like oh uh, very cool okay <laughs> So, All right. sounds good, great, nice, right? Yeah. So, so now if I wanted to save that, I just go like this. Go store and then hit the bank you want to save. Let's say you want to sure. save it at A. Okay, it's so safe. That's it. That's, that's it. it. So let's go. It's it's in preset mode. You can you can use it like this. You can use it as a stompbox, uh, a paddle board stuff, foot switch, or even preset. Right now it's in preset mode. Okay. Which is yeah. Mm -hmm. Understand. All right. All right. So then, do we start from a blank slate when we go to the next one, or is the modulation exception I'd still on? It could be on. It could be on. Yeah, All right. You so, see, it's on. Yeah. So what we do then is we. Put it off. Put it off. And let's keep that one and keep this one. Let's see what we got. So, very cool. Now you, now you, yeah, right. This is the level of what you do right now, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. What's that? 
Oh yeah, we got a boost switch as well, which reacts differently to each channel. That's sick. Yeah. So you could, could you set it up? I guess you can't set it up so that like you have your presets and then the boost. Is you separate. could, you could. Let me show you something. Oh, really? You got, you got two outputs here. Okay. Yeah, and this one is like MIDI controllable. You can put any kind of stuff you want to that you can uh put the let, let's say on the on the first control you put the boost mm -hmm. switch yeah so you need like just the one switch sure. switchy thing yeah you can uh, switch on boost and switch it off and you even can put on volume delay level um intensity so everything you got from the amp which mm -hmm. you can dial in you can you can just remote it That's from sick. this yeah. so basically i could have it set up um, yeah Yep. Conceivably, is four channels and an external that's always. Yep. Used. Okay, that's yep. great. Yep. So let's do this store, yep. and then we hit the second hit. one. Yeah. Okay. So store. now between the two, so so then I can go back to turn on the volume a bit to like have it on. Then I store. Yeah. another feature Go. if you don't use the iPad app and uh, you don't you just want to see okay where wouldn't. where where did I put my volume or yeah. where did I put my oh, gain in the yeah. prior yeah, yeah. preset yeah. I can just search 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 okay where did I put it where did I put it and it lights it flashes that's very cool yeah and then you know where your gain was actually analog wise yeah that's great because yeah. chances of me using the app is probably pretty limited yeah so that's great yeah oh that's really cool so <laughs> Let's move on yeah. to the next one. All right. So, lead. This would, uh, as opposed, is there a difference between lead and ultra? Is one yeah. technically a lead channel, or is it? Uh, it's, it's actually, it's sound-wise, it's a, it's a bit. Like, let's say, like the lead is going more in the British di direction, while the ultra is going more in the American Mar direction. Martial Mar rectifier. Yeah. yeah Got yeah, it. Right. All right. So, let's go to the ultra then. <laughs> You got you got more low end and you got more bass on that ultra channel. Yeah. So yeah. Very cool. So let's see. So let's go on to this and let's All see right. we gotta Do you know where the presence is voiced at? It's like 3.5 kind of thing. No, it's higher than that. Six. Is it technically where the presence eingreift, like uh, in the frequency? Hoch mitten. Hoch mitten? Yeah. High mids. High mids. High mids. Yeah, yeah, okay.
have the noise gate on this channel. Is that MIDI savable as well? Yep. Yeah. You just... Yeah, I can. Oh. I... oh no, it's okay. It's all right. It's okay. It's in the middle. In the middle position here, back at the back. So what I would love to do is get used to it. Yeah, you know what you I mean? Should, you should. Because I have a certain type of uh, drive pedal as well that I'd like to try with this as well. And yeah. plus, but at the same time, it's like the um, the uh, clean channel is very nice, isn't it? Thank you, brother. thank you, Devin, man. Thank you, man. Hey. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks very much, brother. Thanks, brother. Cheers, brother. <laughs>